It's CBSC and CRD Solutions, Chapter 8, Introduction to Trigonometry, Exercise 8.1, Question Number 4. The problem is, it is given to us that 15 times co cotangent of A is equal to 8 and we need to find sine of A and secant of A. So from the given information, we will proceed to the solution. It's given that 15 times cotangent of A is equal to 8. So we can write it cotangent of a is equal to 8 divided by 15. Now we know that cotangent of any given angle is equal to adjacent side adjacent side divided by opposite side and adjacent side to angle a is ac and opposite side to angle a is bc. And it is given to us equal to 8 divided by 15. So now we have ratio of AC to BC equal to 8 divided by 15. From this information, we can suppose that let length of AC is equal to 8K and let length of BC equal to 15K. So whatever the units are, so 8k units or here 15k units. Now from the length of AC and BC, we can find the length of AB, which is the hypotenuse of this given right angle triangle. So using the Pythagoras theorem, we can find the length of AB. AB square is equal to AC square plus bc square now putting the value of ac and bc we get 8k square plus 15k square and it's equal to 64k square plus 225k square equal to 289k square now square rooting square rooting on both sides we get length of ab equal to 17k now from here we can find sine a and secant a now Secant A is equal to hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Now what's the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is AB and adjacent side to angle A. Adjacent side to angle A is AC. So AB divided by AC is equal to 17K divided by AC is 8K. From here it's 8K. So we get here 17 divided by 8. So secant A is equal to 17 divided by 8. And now we also need to find sine A. Sine A is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. And opposite side to angle A is BC. And hypotenuse is AB. And the length of BC that we supposed is 15K and AB is 17K. So we get here sine A equal to 15 divided by 17. So secant A is equal to 17 divided by 8 and sine is equal to 15 divided by 17. So this is about uh, in chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry exercise 8.1 question number 4. In the next video I'll be covering chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry exercise 8.1 question number 5. See you guys.